Good afternoon. Today I'll try to illustrate all the math side of the Ohm's law. And it's a very important thing. <clears throat> because at the lab, I explained everything about how we can connection all of these parts. What is the unknown resistance? How which one will connect it with it uh, parallel? What about the serious connection about the other parts of the circuit? I, uh, I talked about the power supply, how I can use it as a DC or AC according to what. Uh, we explain what is the R hesitate, what is the minimum and maximum about it, and what will change all of this about the or how it can do when increase or decrease uh, the R hesitate. Uh, what is the change will be? I'm talking about the current sure and the different potential because I have a meter to calculate the current, like I said before, and voltmeter to calculate the different potential. But here, according to Ohm's law, when I won't calculate this unknown resistance, I will use the different the voltmeter to calculate the different potential not to all the circuit, but to determine, to calculate the different potential according this resistance, okay? According to this column, uh, we must take a look to the units, it's important. According to Ohm's law, R resistance equal different potential divided on res uh, current, that means every one ohm equal one uh, volt divided on uh, ampere okay but at first let me talk about the purpose from this resistance to verify ohm's law and the second part is to know how we can determine unknown resistance i'm talking about this resistance okay by using ohm's law and how and necessary simple knowledge about how we can plot, how we can illustrate this relation between different potential at x-axis and current at y-axis. I have these results. These results are came from a meter and voltmeter. At first here, I, uh, if we take a look, you will see here it's a milliampere, not ampere. By that, we have two choice to solve this problem to can calculate the resistance with ohm units that means all the current and different potential must be with uh, a big unit that means ampere and voltage or that means let's convert this milliampere to ampere by that i will write all the column like that and multiple 10 to force minus 3 or according to write this column again i can directly put 10 multiple 10 to force minus 3 to be ampere that's mean here ampere here volt uh, i by this situation i can calculate the resistance with ohm unit according to that at x-axis, I say each dot 0 to equal 1 centim. And at y-axis, each dot 0 4 equal 2 centim. By that, I divided the x-axis and y-axis. I like that. It's important to write that to me. After that, let's select the two dimension points like that. This is a, a regular point by because I take my line with the almost the bigger number of my uh, re results. Here, let me calculate them one, two, three, four, five from six. That means almost of them include in my line in my slope that's mean my solution is correct 
By that, let's talk about the slope equal delta i, delta y divided on delta x. That's rule in math. In physics, by change this name from x axis to be voltage, and here to be current, that's mean slope will equal delta i divided on delta v. Here I think it's clear from delta x, that's mean delta v. Here is delta y. I selected these two points, the first one and last one, to make my triangle be bigger. Here it's relation number one from Ohm's law, relation number two, different potential divided on current, two in one, that's mean I have relation. This relation is resistance equal reverse slope. Because that, it's necessary to calculate the slope to know the unresistance value, okay? Slope is here equal dot one, reverse dot one equal 10 ohm. That's mean my unknown resistance value is 10 ohm. Conclusion, the relation between them at x-axis and y-axis is linear relation. This kind or its kind is direct. That means when current increase, the different potential will increase too. Here, let me give a simple note. My results in the column, all of these two values are increased. Why they are increased? Because the R hesitate is decreased. That's mean started from maximum going to minimum. In another situation, can be this result can be start from maximum and increase according to zero. That's mean the R hesitate was from minimum is started and going to be maximum. Okay. Let's take another homework to kind of support your skills to kind of plot curves better. This homework according to the circuit column below, find the unknown resistance according to this column. You have the results from a meter, the current with milliampere, volt, voltage from this voltmeter connected uh, with parallel connection with the unknown resistance. That's it. You will use all of these two results, two columns, to plot your curve, to explain the relation between them, determine the slope. Uh, you will say the equation number one, equation number two, about Ohm's law according to all of these. We can say resistance equal reverse slope. By that, you can determine the unresistance value easily okay our lecture today is done thank you for watching and listening have a good day see you in the next video